Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Remist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great, and we, my friends, are playing some more Magic Legion. Now, I want to go ahead and apologize for the mess up on the video on Friday. Um, if you happen to watch it, you would have seen that halfway through it went and corrupted. Now, that meant that yesterday's video, I had to completely record both of them because of the fact of all of the footage that I got from that video plus yesterday's footage was all corrupt. And it's continued to happen with today's videos as well. So it's a little bit frustrating. So this is actually the third time that I am actually doing this video. But I'm going to show you what or give you a quick rundown on what was in the videos that you've basically missed because of obviously I lost all the footage but if I show you this right here guys I did go ahead and upgrade Arno to a level 13 from a level 12 which is pretty damn good we need one more war mage to make him a level 14 um we need two more of the witches and then the shield of doom is just way behind so it doesn't really matter but the one thing that is super, super important, guys, if I go into the uh, albums here and I scroll down to the War Mage. Now, a lot of you will be very, very uh, familiar with his spell that increases 50% of the attack speed for friendly units for 8 seconds, which is standard. But the main thing for getting a hero to level 14 is the fact that if I do this with the War Mage, his stats are going to double. So he's actually going to increase 100% for 12 seconds instead of 50% for, four, uh, for 8 seconds. So this is really, really important that I finally manage to level up this guy and do this, which would be pretty damn incredible. Now, the other thing that you would have missed, which is a shame that I couldn't get this little bit of footage, and that, my friends, is this bad boy right here. We managed to spin the wheel and go ahead and get the de uh, the dragon bone of the abyss which is amazing because not only did we do that guys but we've gone ahead and upgraded him to a level 8 so his stats are currently giving me 180 strength whiz and end which is already 60 stats better than the five star hero uh, five star mount velociraptor that we were using so i'm going to go ahead and jump off of this account and give you a quick breakdown on to what was what's going on in server 96 now now in server 96 there's been quite a lot that's actually happened because i've said in the previous videos when i was playing on server 96 that i didn't want to go ahead and upgrade heroes too high because of the fact that i don't want to level up too quickly but my friends i've broken that rule and you can see here that I've gone and upgraded the witch up to a level 8. I have enough heroes or enough of her to be able to make her a level 9, uh, which is pretty cool. My war mage is now level 7 and I need one more. My uh, blood commander is now level 6 and I need one more. But the piece, or, or sorry, I need two more. But the piece of resistance is the absolute best part about this, guys. I have a level 5 Arno, but I have 9 Arnos in reserve. This means that I'm probably going to be able to upgrade him like 4 times. So I've actually got a level 9 Arno on this account, which is pretty damn incredible. Considering that this is the account that I do have the, uh, the 6 star motorcycle with... The spell completely upgraded, guys. So having the, that level of heroes with the motorcycle is devastating. So we will be playing a little bit more on this account because I'm only just inside the Death Rift on this account. And I mean literally just inside the Death Rift. So I'm going to be playing like crazy on this account over the next couple of days. To be able to make sure that we can like obviously go ahead and get a few more in the spin thing. Because I'm currently at 290. So I would like to at least get this up into the next zone and get all of this good stuff. But it's okay. Because my friends, the main part that you guys are going to want to see right now. And to be honest, I'm thinking I might make server 99 my main account guys. 
because this is pretty incredible what has been going on over on this server now i haven't got a huge amount extra compared to where i was and this is pretty incredible so if i go ahead and show you what's going on like look at my hero level since you last seen it you know i've gone from a plus one war mage to a plus two and i've also gone to a plus three from a plus two charming witch so these are all super super low level heroes but what has gone on is i've managed to go and get head and get some souls look at arno arno is completely kitted out now because of all of these bonus items now i went and done a video where i did go and get this fifth piece right here and obviously that was in the corrupted data so you're not going to see that but with having these five heart pieces of souls you can see that arno is going to get a bonus 15 percent attack a bonus 15 percent magical and physical defense strength plus 20 whiz plus 20 and for the first eight seconds of battle he's going to get a bonus 200 percent defense increase which is pretty damn insane so that being said look at the other heroes here guys my actual hero has got four legendary souls on her we've got a couple of uh, other souls we managed to get a legendary soul for the king as well so that's pretty damn good and we're only level 65 so we've only just managed to unlock the area of the uh, these areas of the abyss which means that every single time we fight one of these bad boys we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a ton of runes which we can use to help us increase our team even more which is pretty damn crazy but the thing that is most crazy about this guys look up at the top left we have twelve thousand diamonds on this account right now and on top of that we have already spanned and opened a ton of cards that we've opened up 400 of these bad boys so if i can get some more half price hero cards then i will 100 percent get to this right here which will give me this uh bone uh dragon bone or dragon's bone of the abyss now as you guys know i on this account i have already got the skeleton dragon now a lot of you are still asking the question what's the difference and there is no difference they're both exactly the same one is purple one is yellow and black um the only different well i say that there is no difference there obviously there is a difference that's the main difference but the only other difference is these spells right here so this spell right here which gives you 50 percent damage to the whole team and this one right here which gives 50 percent after the main uh, main character um there and also is does the crit go up a little bit more i think that's the only difference i think it is literally just these two spells um so decreases the enemy the whole team's attack speed sorry so decreasing the enemy's attack speed by 50 percent, and this one here that is uh making the enemy take a, a more damage by 50 percent. they're the only two spells that are different so if we actually look over here you can see the difference so let's see 30 percent. okay so the the final three spells are slightly different as you can see here this one here decreases the enemy the whole enemy's damage by 60 percent whereas the skeleton dragon is only 50 percent the same as this one is 60 percent whereas the skeleton dragon is only 50 percent and when it comes to the very final uh spell this is actually starting on 36 percent extra crit damage whereas the skeleton dragon is only starting on 30 percent so basically if you have the demon bone dragon of the abyss you're gonna get a bonus 10 percent on each of them final three spells that is the only difference between these two heroes but obviously if i can get this one then i will use him because the extra 10 percent why wouldn't you use it and the purple guy looks pretty damn cool so that being said guys look at where i am so for every one of you that have been telling me i cannot get to this point in time because of my heroes are only level five i'm sorry but you can you just need to work out your spells and you need to uh, work out your hero's abilities so i'm going to show you right here 
that we have made it into the Death Rift. I've seen people telling me, well, Red, I can't get to the Death Rift to get that spell because I've only got heroes of like plus four or something. Look at my heroes, guys. My heroes are plus two and plus three. This is all you need to do. If you have Arno of anything above plus two, you will make it to this area because there's just no way that you don't have enough damage to make it into this zone. But it is super, super important that you have these spells. If you have these spells and you have these spells upgraded, you will 100% make it into the Death Rift. So that's all I'm going to say on it. So let's go ahead and jump into this fight here. See if we can take this one out. Because if we can kill this guy right here, that means that we're going to have two more half price uh, cards. And if I can get these two half price cards, that is where the money is going to lie. Because then that means I'm going to be able to go ahead and open up some more heroes. And be able to hopefully, at long last, get myself another king and another Arno. Which will help me move on even further on through the map. But at the same time, I really want a Dragon Princess. Because if I get a Dragon Princess, it's going to answer the questions that I want answering. Now, in the combination packs, guys... I don't know if you have to get just one of the hero or if you have to get multiple of the hero to be able to unlock each pack. So it's going to be really, really interesting because the ones that I have left are pretty much the ones with the Dragon Princess. So if I go ahead and get one of them, then I could be in for some big payday. Look at this. I still have four days on the stage race as well, guys. So we're going to hopefully continue to increase through this server. Now, all I hope is that the next event is the Egg Smashing event, because if the next event is an Egg Smashing event, there could be a lot of diamonds that being used on this account, guys. But let's go ahead and spin this wheel, or should I say open up these packs. I need two, and I'm going to get my free draw. So hopefully, in these 30 heroes, there's going to be a Dragon Princess, because if there is, I'm going to have some good luck. Come on, baby. Okay, well, we did go get a witch. So that's not too bad. We got a witch. Come on. Give me the dragon princess. Come on. It's all I want. If I get the dragon princess, I'm going to be able to spin that wheel so many times. Okay, we got another witch, another war mage, couple of blood commanders. That's not too bad. Last chance, boys and girls. Come on. Give me something good, please. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Like, what is going on with these hero cards, man? They are not going well for me at all, guys. But we did go ahead and get a fair few. So let's see. Have we got enough to actually spin the wheel? We haven't even got enough to spin the wheel, guys. This is so, so bad for me. It's unreal. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this little video because it is a nice little thing to be able to show you guys where we're at. We still have 10,000 diamonds. So make sure you go and hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Because I love making these videos for you. And now we're going to see if we can possibly, just maybe, finish off the hard mode in this zone over here. Because of the fact that we want to go ahead and get this 6-star hero card. So... I don't know if I'm going to have the strength to be able to do this because my hero level is so, so low. Um, I don't know, but we're going to give it a try, guys. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, this one right here, this, uh, this first spell that I can't remember its name of right now. Um, Touch of the Abyss, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we'll go and hit the curse, so hopefully we're not going to be killed too much by this guy at the front. Let's see if we can hit him with the fire glob just to do a ton of damage. Nice. There we go, guys. We're looking good. Hopefully, we're going to be able to keep them locked down and we're going to be able to continue to do all this damage. Like, look at this, guys. We're actually able to do this and we're doing it pretty damn easily as well. Like, there isn't really a big time at the moment that I'm kind of struggling to be able to push through with this team. Excuse me. And this is why I wanted to show you how powerful this team is. Because it is super, super strong. And it is absolutely ridiculous. Like, you can see here, like, let's see. 
So before I continue to talk and say how easy it is, we're going to fight this boss. Now, this is probably one of the harder bosses to fight inside the game, but hopefully with turning him into a pig, we're going to be able to take this guy out. We're going to hit him with the Rara Thor, which is going to give us a ton of damage on this guy. If the Okay, so she's not actually locked him down yet, so we're going to go ahead and just go and do this. Now, he's going to come out and attack, so we're going to have to hit that uh, touch of the abyss to hopefully keep this guy stunned a little bit longer. And that, my friends, is game over because we're going to hit that Reaper's Scythe. He's below 40% health, which means he's going to get insta-killed. And that, my friends, is that. We are currently moving on up. We're going to get that six-star hero card as easy as easy can be. And that means that we're going to be able to move on into the next zone. So, as you can see, like, this now is the Twilight area. Like, what is what is this uh, zone called? I can't remember. Twilight Forest or something, isn't it? I uh, can't remember. Uh, Twilight Swamp. So, we're actually at the Twilight Swamp in hard mode. We are in to the death rift on normal mode and we're looking good so our next order of priority guys is getting the 8000 uh 8000 runes because we're going to be coming over into this library right here because once we've got the 8000 runes which we are currently at we have enough guys let's ig ignore me completely because we have enough let's go out of here and let's go into our hero sale area because of all of those heroes that we just bought a second ago we can just go ahead and hit this that's going to be 300 runes right there giving us more than enough runes than we need which means that our heroes even though they are low level heroes they are super super strong and now they're about to become even stronger because my friends the god of blood spell is mine let's go in ahead and say thank you very much so let's move over here i tell you what let's go ahead and fight this and just take a look at those beautiful blue wings on every single hero and i've been playing for two days look at this where's my wings why why don't all of my heroes have blue wings guys what's going on here why do my why do all of my heroes not have nice blue wings what's going on i did buy the right spell didn't i guys Please say I didn't, like, go and buy the wrong spell. Is it, has, like, we have the spell because now everyone is using 20%. So I don't understand where my beautiful blue wings are on all of my heroes. Um, maybe they've, like, taken that feature off or that, um, t like, t uh, taken that graf uh, graphics out of that. Let's try coming out of here and going back in and seeing if maybe it was just, like, a little glitch in the system like maybe the matrix are playing up because it's scared of how powerful we're becoming so soon in the game no we don't have those beautiful blue wings what is going on guys i don't know but it's okay because everyone has the god of blood spell on now which means that we are even stronger than we were before because of everyone now taking 20 percent less damage so i'm going to continue to play on through the map try and get myself some more half price hero cards so that i can open up some more cards or some more packs and hopefully get to that 480 so i don't know if i can make it guys but we still have a ton of time left it would just be really really cool if we could buy in the shop like say those half price cards for like say 100 diamonds or 200 diamonds like maybe if we could go to the diamond store or something and you could actually transfer them like say we could go in here and in here somewhere like there was a possibility of buying the um those half price cards in fact i think there is because my friends i think round here somewhere um maybe not okay maybe not um I was thinking that there might have been one in the VIP area, but there's not. But there is like this one right here. That's pretty cool. Um, if you're a VIP level 7. I was kind of thinking that there might have been like a half price card inside these chests or something. 
but it would be really cool if you could actually do that guys like maybe come in and buy the um the half price stuff because they've gone ahead and put the runes in here and we've also got the resources and speed up in here so it would be really really good if maybe they put in the half price cards um because if you could buy these guys in the sh like this is the for the gem store uh, or for the black market store but if you could buy the times 10 draw cards that would be pretty incredible like i'd pay 100 diamonds to get a half price card oh nice we just got the magic idol i think she, she's actually a hero that we needed no it's not it's not a hero that we needed we've already got her um but one of the ones that i want to talk about guys is this down here so if i scroll down here you can see here that the dragon princess is here she's grayed out because i haven't got her so if i go and get her that means that i could claim this one's combo right but I've also got the Dragon Princess down here. So does that mean that I need to get two Dragon Princesses and I'll be able to claim both of them? Or does it mean that because I've only got one Dragon Princess, I'm going to be able to claim all of them? I don't know. So tell me in the comments down below, guys. Do you know? Do you have to get multiple of the same hero in order for it to count as you get in those heroes? Or... Do you have to get one of that hero and it counts towards every single one of them? Because if that's the case, guys, you can see there that the Dragon Princess is involved inside three of these things right here. So if I get one Dragon Princess, does that mean that I'm going to be able to claim all of them? Or do I have to get three Dragon Princesses to claim all three of them? I don't know, but hopefully we're going to get a Dragon Princess soon. And we will be able to answer that question. But I don't know, guys. If you guys know the answer, then put that down in the comment. But that's going to be it from me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and even share the video if you wish. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace on the streets.